Hunter and today you are joining me on the luxury hunt for all of my first time viewers if that may be you thank you for joining me welcome 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 so glad to have you so this week has just been such a great week for many of you who follow me on Instagram you might have seen some new guests or the new team members that we are going to be working with so this week I'm going to just be debuting um, our new team members Chloe and Celine and we're going to be talking so much more about them but before I get into that um, that's just what the video is about what am I wearing so a parent's favorite word that they love to hear schools back in <laughs> yes the summer has just been so long but it's definitely winding down and the kids are about to go back to school so <sighs> that works out well for me so um, I'm actually going to a, a fundraising that they're having tonight um, so I'm trying to be a little bit more demure and a look a little a bit uh, you know less edgy I'm one of those parents that always show up to the kids classroom in like the 80s rock and roll tee and a blazer and some distressed jeans yeah so I'm trying to just give a, um, a different look you know give that more mature motherly vibe if you will so that's what I'm going to be doing so you know I'm pairing it with these Chanel shoes remember these from the Chanel video that I actually took and got the shoe the bottom resold and retipped and you know got the guy to work on them a little bit so I'm wearing those and I have the Stella McCartney um, box clutch that I am going to be pairing it with. So I'm doing a lot of tone on tone. I'm feeling a little blue. And I'm wearing this Eliza J dress. Sorry, I just slammed that down on the desk. This Eliza J dress. Now Eliza J, I actually have found her at Nordstrom's when I've gone to Nordstrom's a few times. And um, you know, on the uh, West Coast, I have seen her actually in boutiques, her line in boutiques. I don't really see much of it, you know, on the East Coast where I am, but it's a very boutique-y line, and I really like it. It's a very, um, the dresses, I don't know if you can see it. Well, let me move everything out of the way so you can see a little better. Throw those shoes down there. But it has like that, um, that bibbed, uh type of neckline and it comes up really high it's very pretty on um, all of her dresses are just so pretty very feminine they're cut very well they're cut for a woman's body you know I, I've shared with you guys before I'm usually a size 10 12 uh, you know I still have my holiday weight so I'm more of a yeah nine months away from the holiday almost and I'm still carrying holiday weight but anyhow yeah 10 12 more of a 12 here but you know so I just love this dress so I'm telling you friends if you're in a consignment shop and you see this designer Eliza J pick it up because her dress are really cut to you know flatter a woman's body and most of her dresses have pockets okay who amongst you does not love a dress with pockets uh huh we love dresses with pockets. And you see, I also am channeling my I Dream of Jeannie. Put all of those locks up in a ponytail. So who is going to have a headache at the end of the night? Your girl. Yes, I will. Yeah, yeah, I could already feel it coming. Anyhow, but our newest team members here at the Luxury Hunt, friends, we are growing. Our newest team members, Chloe and Celine. And so we have Celine and Chloe. And I've named them that because I've told you I love the designer Chloe. And my partner in Houston, she is just in love with all things Celine. So we really picked these two names because I think it just really expresses the, the breadth and width of the things that you can find in high-end designer luxury consignment. Um, you can find so many things. If you're a more conservative dresser, there is something there for you. If you're an edgier dresser, there is also something there for you. So before I uh, start to cut to some of the video, I actually wanted to give a shout out to Aaron Fields. I have his card right here, and I'm trying to get in real close. So I was in the market for some mannequins and I had seen mannequins at various price points but definitely like I said we're a new company and we had a price that we wanted to pay and we did not want to go above that. 
and just through talking to different people, someone um, told me that I should go by and see Aaron. And Aaron at A and B Fixtures off of Capitol in Raleigh, North Carolina, he hooked me up. My dude hooked me up with some mannequins. And Aaron, I thank you. I told him that I would give a shout out to him. And you can also shop for his, uh, shop his store online. And if you can't see the card, well, no worries. I'll put all of that information uh, down in the description box. And with that, I am going to just go to some pictures that I have from working with Chloe and Celine in the heat of the North Carolina summer. Oh, as I like to say, Jesus be an air condition. Um, we've been out here probably an hour and I hear some thunder <laughs> and it's still hot <laughs> I am melting you see it I'm melting but uh, that's my son in the background yeah he's melting too but you know he's sick so he's just gonna continue to run around so we're just continuing to work 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 Hey guys, so it's day two of working with Chloe and Celine, and we had the best shot ever in the world. We wanted to do some tone on tone, and I had some wonderful crepe myrtles picked out at the park that we were going to shoot, and it was going to be fabulous. But it was a washout. It looked, saw rain clouds in the sky, and it just did not look like it was going to happen. So in a bind, I called a furniture store, and they came to the came to the day and saved me immensely. So it's Ambiante Furniture Store and they have like wonderful Scandinavian furniture and everything in here is absolutely beautiful. I do believe that you can shop the store online. I'll put a link to everything down below, but I just thank them immensely for coming and saving the day that we could at least have this shoot for you guys to see. And I thank you so. It's day two, and the wonderful thing I didn't have to work in the heat. Woohoo! <laughs> no heat. I wasn't sweating bullets. I'm a little, looking a little rough with my glasses, but hey, I'm not sweating bullets.